The arrogance. That's crazy. The arrogance. How about you come down here and please with us? You so up. How about you come down here and please with us? You so up. Okay, so this is all the trash that we collected. Wow. Here's the background on this incident. The one acre property in uh, Kalihi Valley is home to numerous streams and ponds that people like to visit. The incident was caught on camera in the video. It appears to show a property manager using a bullhorn to tell a group of people, we should say a group of native people that were trespassing on, on private property. The group says they were cleaning up the area and they and he started yelling back. They started yelling back in Alehu, uh, Hawaii. Landowner Mike Strada said he was not on the property at the time of the incident. It does sadden him, according to the owner. He said, Strata took ownership of the land in 2015 and had been working for years to clean up the area. He says the reason uh, access has been limited is due to safety. We had some die over, we had some die to, we had some people or someone die or, or over the, um, because of the rocks, the rocks are slippery. Okay, I get that. He said the police even came and told them they need to do something about this because neighbors are complaining. This is according to the owner. In response to the safety concerns, Strata said walls were put up to make control access points. He also said he instructed the property managers to stop using the bullhorns. How's that going for you? Uh, I understand that this is truly their land, <laughs> said Strata, who, who also wanted to thank the people in the video for their work to clean up the area. The owner says he would like to partner with the native Hawaiian group to help with stewardship of the land and coordinate access to this area and cleanups. This is Eddie Doe, according to Hawaiian News Now. Dina. I, I I am so frustrated. Uh, you said something about land in the last segment, and I think we should remember that these these people are native. This space has been sacred to them, is sacred to them, and they're cleaning up waterways, waterways, and because of some Western idea of ownership of something that was put here for all of us not to be exploited by the rich, the rich and few been yelled at by a person with a bullhorn and being made fun of when they speak the, lang the language that's native to the land that they're cleaning up and trying to protect. What say you? I say, unfortunately, we do this way too much. We could get like an A plus if this were a course, because there's Western belief that we somehow um, kind of were better than. I think I don't know how any way to put it, but we were better than the people that were in the land to begin with. And we've created so many problems around the world uh, with this idea of like giving away land or drawing borders or, um, you know, here, like just killing, um, you know, the Native Americans uh, there in Hawaii, just disrespecting and treating somebody again like this other like we've talked about. Uh, I think that there is at least an awareness um, now than there for sure was like a few hundred years ago that this was even wrong, but we still have um, a long way to go. And why can't we just be uh, equal to other people? Why do we have to feel like we're better than other people? I yeah, know. I think, yeah, I th that's a perfect point. And I think it's that's what's at the core of, um, I feel like, any any occupying that's taking place, you think someone's way of life does not rank on on par or more than yours, and it and it shows up in how you erase culture. We saw it here with uh, in America with so many of the native cultures being completely or almost completely wiped out and being forced to say you can't speak. We refuse for you to learn your language. You must focus on what we what we teach you. And I think that is a that is a real sentiment that we need to deal with. 